डॉक्टर वैशाली भारत पे टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ट्रांजिशनल एपिथीलियम दिस सीरीज इज फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्रॉ सिंपल हिस्टोलॉजी डायग्राम्स इन जर्नल्स एंड ऑल्सो इन द एग्जाम्स प्लीज यूज दिस शॉर्ट क्विक वीडियोज टू लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ एज वेल एज टू रेप्लीकेट दीज डाइग्राम्स इन एग्जाम्स एंड राइट अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑन दीज टॉपिक्स सो द टॉपिक वी विल बिगिन टूडे is transitional epithelium understand that your transitional epithelium is a stratified epithelium with characteristics that allow the epithelium to distend it's called as transitional because it's got features which are intermediate between stratified cuboidal and stratified columnar it's also called urothelium of course why is it called urothelium because you always find it in the urinary uh, system so you find it in the pelvic calicial space minor calyx major calyx in the ureter in the urinary bladder and in the proximal urethra okay with this much basic let's begin to draw this transitional epithelium come we will begin our diagram by drawing the basement membrane so here is your basement membrane okay and now we will draw the first layer of cells above resting on the basement membrane these layers of cells are cuboidal to columnar in nature okay so draw them neat and tidily the next layer on this will be polygonal so a transitional epithelium is usually about 4 to 6 layers of cells we've drawn the first layer let's draw the next layer of polygonal cells take your time while drawing remember to take time to enjoy this is not a job it's a drawing So we've got about four layers now. Let's try and add the last, the topmost layer. Remember, the topmost layer of transitional epithelium cells are very large. Okay, they're called as umbrella cells. See, large cells called umbrella cells form the top layer of transitional epithelium. Now we need to stain all these cells. So remember, the lowermost layer will be stained a little darker. as you go higher your staining should reduce till the cells in the topmost layer should be very light okay so now what is the next job we need to draw the nuclei draw the nuclei a little elongated in the lower layer as shown in the higher layer make sure your nuclei become a little more rounded and in the topmost layer pause and remember some of the cells in the top layer will be binucleated you did you see that so what happens is some cells are said to have fused in the top layer to create these large umbrella cells and therefore they show two nuclei our next step is to color these nuclei in a lighter shade as shown and the next step now is to draw the nucleoli see remember everything should look as natural as possible so begin to add these nucleoli take your time have patience okay right so now you're looking at an epithelium which looks like transitional but still remember we have to make it appear as natural as possible so what i'm going to do is start adding a few cell organelles in a very light manner so if you look i'm slowly coloring and adding a very light texture to these cells okay after that we will begin to color the area around the nucleus the per perinuclear space will be slightly darkly colored okay if you look carefully you are start starting to see me coloring that area so what happens nucleus is the most active area in a cell and therefore the area around it is often slightly darker stained so you can add that feature also in your diagram and once you are done Remember the last thing we are doing is we are going to add this layer. This is called as cuticle. It is secreted by the cells in the top layer. Okay? It's a glycocalyx layer. So this layer will lie between the urine that is lying within the lumen of the organ and the epithelium itself. So it protects the transitional epithelium from the toxic effects of the urine. so there you can see that your diagram is complete so what's the next thing you will do you will now have to label this okay so remember one thing whenever you are labeling always remember to have your 
labels lying outside your area of diagram. Don't cross into your diagram. Don't allow your arrows to cross the uh, field of your drawing. Okay. See how my labels are lying on the side and the arrows are coming from the sides to point various structures. Now add the title which is unstretched transitional epithelium. Here the point I am making is transitional epithelium is always to be drawn as unstretched as you are seeing here and then stretched as you are seeing here. As you can see this appears to be a much uh, epithelium which is much shorter in height. It is stretched. When you stretch transitional epithelium, the number of layers which I told you was 4 to 6 now gets reduced to 3 to 4 as seen in this diagram. Okay? So, remember to draw both stretched and unstretched transitional epithelium whenever you are asked to do this diagram in exams. So, I hope you learned something from this very short video. And this will help you not only to draw the diagram of transitional epithelium, but it will also help you to maybe write a quick short note on this topic, which is very commonly asked in theory exams. Alright students, thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.